my concern is public safety. What can we do to, to keep and, and our community safe, to, to make them safer? Many people are quite concerned about gun violence, and so we are going to look at all of the things that we might do to reduce the incidence of violence in, in our communities, and gun violence in particular. And, and I appreciate there's a great diversity of perspectives. It's one of the reasons I've been asked to examine the issue. I like to give people an opportunity to share their perspective with me. Uh, I particularly would encourage them, I know their advocacy is very strong, but if they have evidence that they can share with us, and if they've got ideas on how things the government might consider to improve public safety. Would you like my handgun? Would you like my handgun, Mr. Clare? Would you like my Canadian Tire 7? No, thank you, ma'am. No, I'm aware, I'm aware of that. All right, good. Yes, ma'am. Good. I'm glad. Three quarters of all firearm deaths in Canada are suicides. Another fifth of homicides are domestic violence. So what we need to focus on from an emergency point of view is uh, keeping firearms away from those who are at risk. ...are coming out of in certain areas, whether it's coming out of Brampton or certain parts of Toronto or certain parts of Scarborough, they need to start talking to communities and they're saying, look, why is there such a rash in this one local zone? The people who are being arrested happen to have these certain names. And there's a thing, there's obviously a certain problem going into your community. Yesterday, the other guy was saying about economic and all these sort of things, but Toronto's got a lot of work. I live up north. We hardly got any work. Down here, everybody's getting way better wages and everything. So that excuse doesn't necessarily fly. And for people to go and say, well, they're, 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 they've got employment problems or education thing, regardless of where that is, it has nothing to do with the fact of them committing murder and walking into a mall and shooting a bunch of people on the streets. It has nothing to do. It's not a racist issue. It's not about anything. It has to do with the fact that those individuals chose to go in and kill people. They chose to fire gunshots randomly through the Yorkdale Mall or wherever the hell they're doing it. Why aren't those things being addressed? And if the person is openly walking around and shooting at people, I think we've got to start drawing a line between prison sentences and execution. Desde el otro punto de vista. Desde el otro punto de vista.